Okay. In 1980, the back of that building, what was the name of that building? It was the biggest hardware store. I think it was a hardware store in Port Richmond. What was it called? Channels. That's right. Uh, that's the back of Channels, which has never had a good... After Channels left, nothing good ever happened here. I am here... It's always like Dollar Trees. There's like a bingo parlor. Uh, I am here at Bernard Samuel Recreation Center. I always called it Samuels. Yeah, you want to go... Or it was called the Deep Pool. You want to go to the Deep Pool, you're going to go to Samuels. I, I got permission to do this. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to show you what the wreck looks like now. Out of all the playgrounds I've done, this is the only one that has an open activity center. But there it is, the, the old gym. Oh, look inside, look at this. I don't wanna get anybody in trouble, but, oh. So many games of basketball played in here. Oh my God. And it still smells the same. I don't know how that's possible. Yeah, but, so nice artwork for the playground. Down there, they used to have Taekwondo classes. I used to take Taekwondo classes at Samuel's Rec. I did it for about two months. If you watch the Nativity video, I talk about how I wasn't popular. We're going to go this way. So I had to take Taekwondo to protect myself. I did it for two months. Uh, white belt, yellow stripe. I still remember the uh, move to get the, the yellow stripe. Uh, but, yeah, whatever. I was a runner. I wasn't a fighter. I ran. I ran a lot. So this is Samuel's wreck. Uh, the pool is right there. I don't... This has always been... Like a, like A&W has that back part where... It, I guess it's for roller hockey. But what is this? This is for... Maybe it was for a garden at one time. Uh, it does open over there. Maybe uh, pitchers would warm up. And, I don't know what this would be for. Uh, and then here's the pool... You know how dedicated I am to doing these stupid videos? I'm going to climb into a trash can so you guys can see the pool. Um, I remember playing t-ball here as a kid. I definitely played baseball on that field. I don't remember playing soccer. It seems kind of small for a soccer field. Um, I think it's for like little kids. Like pal plays soccer here now. Oh, I don't like this. Who is... Alright. Alright. I need a can of red paint and a can of white paint. We can't have that. We got to fix that. And then, then these faces peeled off. Vince Lefty Ghoul. Thomas Bonk, the original owner of Bonk's Bar. And Ed Markowitz. I guess these are baseball players who played in the big leagues from Port Richmond. Uh, hmm. If he's an athletic, he should be in the middle because that's Philadelphia. I don't think the Red Sox guy, or maybe he's the most popular one. I don't know. And then who are these people? It just, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna put my face on there. My stupid beard, dumb hat. All right. And there, there's the baseball field. When I played for the Tigers, this was my home field. And uh, I lived on the end street, so I hated that because I had to walk all the way down here. Uh, there's Toys R Us all the way back there. There's that vacant lot that the Port Richmond Tigers had their carnival at a few years ago. Uh, I remember uh, we, when we were kids, we would play baseball. And the worst thing, it always happened like once or twice a game. And physically, I don't know how it's possible. But some jerk would hit a foul ball. And somehow it will wind up on top of there. And I was a good fence climber, so I always got it, but I was afraid of heights. Stupid. And I don't know how that happened. You see that part where the, there's no fence? Oh, uh, that's good with the sun. That's a good idea. Uh, they never uh, had that fence there. If that fence was there, I think it would be a big difference. Oh, this was our bench. We would sit here. And there's that cemetery across the street. I don't know if they're still... How could they still be accepting bodies? Like, it was full when I was a kid. And there's some empty space right there. Okay. And then those houses, uh, those little houses in that corner there, uh, 
I, I think this is Tioga. Those houses on that corner there, those little tiny houses, uh, they were built in the 80s. What is, oh my God. That was built in the 80s. And then, uh, let's see where are we at. So there is the basketball court, which never had, uh, I, I guess it used to have rims, but it hasn't had rims on all four nets in a long time. <laughs> now, I'll tell you a memory when we get in there. But let's try to get this pool. You know, I could have asked the guy. The guy at the wreck was very nice. And I told him I was going to make this little stupid thing. And he was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And I, I should have said, hey, can you unlock the pool for me? But no, I'm going to climb a trash can. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, how do you do this with the go? All right, and there is the pool. The best thing about Samuels is it was a deep pool. And look, I'm really on top of a trash can. You don't want to see me. But. Oh. And you would leave your shoes back there where those benches are, wrapped up in a towel, and pray to God that the shoe thief didn't take them. I put my soda. And like I said in the Cahawks video, do you know anybody who had their shoes stolen at a playground? Because I don't. All right. So there's the basketball court. It's baseball field one last time. There it is, the basketball court. And one day... There was a, a festival going on at that new strip mall where the arcade opened up down the street there. It's now like a homeware place. <clears throat> I met Seth Joyner and Jay Bowden Jones from Eagle 106. And after that game was over, after that was over, me and my dad came here and we played a game of basketball one on one right here on this court. And and my dad got a lead up to 10 nothing. Somehow, miraculously, I came back and won. And every time I see this field, every time I drive past this playground, I always think about how sweet my dad is. But not really that sweet, because if you think about it, <clears throat> you know, what if he missed, messed up like one of the shots he's missed and they went in? I would have lost and I would have been scarred permanently. There you go. But no, he would, he would bank them off the board. It was a good time. But I, I still remember that, Dad, and, and, and it always makes me smile. And, and there's the playground. Oh, it's a, oh, you know what? Old school. Look at that. I see. It's, it's a 75 degree day. Uh, it's cool to the touch. Not, maybe, maybe they improved playground technology. Maybe they put some of that Teflon on there. But in the 80s, that would have been 200 degrees. Remember that one thing at Mount Cabbage? It was like a metal triangle, and he just fell. It was weird. So, okay, that's it. I'm going to end it up here. A lot of climbing. So, from the top of Samuel Playground. It's not Samuel's. It's Bernard Samuel. All right. Uh, you want to see a video about the Hawks? That's here. There's a whole bunch of stuff about Port Richmond. Right there. I don't know why I moved the camera. Here. Subscribe here. Uh, number Ethel's. Why not? Here. All right. Toodles.